Hello friends, we're gonna be trying something new. <laughs> Welcome, hello, thank you for coming here. Um, but over the past two years, I've been making videos on TikTok about BTS and my life and everything in between. Oh my God, the sun is so bright, it's killing me. <laughs> but anyways, through making those videos, I've gained a lot in my life and most notably like all the friendships and connections I made with everyone around the world because of BTS. And I often feel like me and all of you are friends. And I've always wanted to make content that makes us feel a little bit more connected, but I have a lot of restrictions when I post videos and I film on TikTok. Notice that like a lot of people will always be like, I haven't seen you on my FYP in forever. So the algorithm is really weird. And instead of letting the algorithm control my life, I thought I would just, you know, start a YouTube where you can find all of my videos and content on. Anyways, I thought that we I would share little snippets of my life with all of you. My day-to-day -day is really, really boring. Like, my daily life is not that interesting. But <laughs> I always love talking to a camera because I feel like I'm talking to my friends. So I thought I would share little snippets of my life. I don't know what to call it because right now I'm leaning towards, like, slice of happiness which is so lame so please give me some suggestions um but hopefully this is gonna be fun i i'm already really excited about it because then i can show you all a little bit more of my life without as much restrictions and yeah so <laughs> thank you for joining me here take you all home with me today i'm gonna go see my parents but before that we're gonna go to umomo which is like a japanese dollar store um I've heard that they have some BTS th stuff there now, so let's go. Let's go take a look. Let's go see if they have it, but also look the other way if I spend all my money. The k pop girlies never leave their house without their comfort keychain and their comfort photo cards. This one is double-sided. Yay! This is where we're heading. We are currently at First Market Place, which now that I think about it, has a lot of like the viral stuff on TikTok because over here is like the spa that everyone's really going to, Paco Place. And then back there we have Clown Kitty, which is like the claw machine place. But yeah, this is where we're headed. Because this is what I was looking for, these guys. Jin, Jin is so cute. Oh my god, one more Jin. And June, there's two more. And then there is Yugi. I don't know if I should get it. It's $75. Well, this is one of my favorite sections. I'm looking for like a brown liquid liner. I'm not sure which one to get because there's so many nice colors. I'm kind of torn between the rose brown and then the mocha. I don't know which one to get. Get all the wrong and every time I come here, I leave with like a lip tint because it's hard to control myself. I love the milk tea velvet tint wine. This one is so good and then the glass and water tint is also so good. Should I get a water tint? Normally, I'm super attracted to colors like this, or like dark colors like this. Yeah, this, I have a problem. I do use their mascara as well. So this is the best, the best exfoliator. They have a Gretzko hand cream. If you have never washed a Gretzko, you're missing out. These face masks, the Lululens, I love them. They have a Hello Kitty bath bomb, I think. They also have the Roman um, nail polishes, and these are really good, guys. Really, really good. These are pretty cute too, look at them. Like, that's so cute. How cute their dancing section is. Oh my god. Daddy, if you know him, I absolutely love Castle in the Sky. It's one of my favorite Ghibli films, but this one, oh, so cool. Look at these gacha boxes. I want to get one, but I feel like I'm going to be sad if I don't get the Shiba one. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's, that's cool, but it's also $300. Damn. The Pokemon Nano Box, I have a bunch at home. I still have one. I need, I need to finish building of like a, a Dragonite, but I love them. Okay, mini haul time, let's go. One exactly like this, you guys might remember if you watch my TikToks. There's a mooning Shiva butt, but I broke it. I did not end up getting the, the BTS figurines, those ones that are, I think they're the Japanese nano smile ones for dynamite um, because they're $75 and I'm trying to save up because we have so many things coming. We have Yoongi's tickets and just a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm like, self control, self control. I did however, I did however get this. 
this is the um, Koya Lip and Cheek Stick from the Crumb Shop. I have the RJ one. I really like the RJ one, but it's more like a, a peachy color, and I don't mind peach on my skin tone, but I like something that's more like rose color. So I'm gonna try this one because it looks like it might it's still quite peachy. <laughs> Actually, no, the RJ one is a touch more coral, like a touch more orange. So this one is very cute. Also, these smell incredible. They smell like peach. At least I've been wanting a brown eyeliner. Let's watch it. Okay, this whole like walking around with the camera thing is still super new to me. So I'm like really awkward with my camera still. And I just get like, you know, a little shy, a little awkward. But the thing is, in order to get what you want in life, you have to be a little bit cringe or a lot cringe. That's something I wish that someone would have told me when I was younger because I was always too scared to do cringy things, even though like starting a YouTube or like filming videos was something I wanted to do for so long in my life. I never let myself do it because it was so cringe and like, what would people think? But no, you have to be cringe. Anyway, ooh, I really like this. That's a really pretty color. Can you guys see? It's definitely, Oh, I love this. Ooh, ooh, okay. I cannot wait to try this one actually out on my eyes. I'm here at my parents' condo. By the way, I have a question for like my young adult friends on here, but how many times a week do you visit your parents? Because I visit roughly once a week and my mom's like, that's not enough. You need to be coming like way more. And I just need to know, like what's an appropriate amount? Because I feel like my mom just wants me to, you know, be there every day. It is so freaking cold in Toronto these days, but I feel like I can't complain because I know it's like much worse out west in like Calgary. It's like negative 30 degree weather every day, but in Toronto, it's like negative 10. Hello, look who's already waiting for me. There's my baby. Hello, Hachi. Hello, where are you going? Come back. Come. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Okay, Hachi inside. He always thinks that I have friends ah, that are outside waiting because sometimes when we pick him up, my friends are waiting in my car. Hachi inside. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Hello. 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 Hello, Hachi. Let me touch the bread. Let me touch the bread. Hello, hello bread. Hachi, where's your toy? Achoo. Come over to my house, Hachi will bring you a toy. That's the first thing he does. Oh my gosh, Hachi, look at you. Look at you. Come here, Hachi, come here. This is typical Shiba behavior. They literally ignore you. Baby. Look at that happy baby. Wow, look how good that looks. That's dumpling filling. My dad's making dumplings. I'm so bad at folding dumplings, but my dad is very skilled. <laughs> and look who wants one. Look at who wants a dumpling. Ooh. <笑>怎麼了? <笑>我自己感觉的不行 <laughs> Look how beautiful you are, mommy. Look. 
Papa, who you mama? If you're Chinese, you know this song. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can do it. Also, if you ever wanted to know how I look like as a child, let me show you. This is my grade eight graduation photo. Do I look the same? <laughs> and then my brothers. This was me when I was probably like three. I literally took that photo. Like I cried right before this photo was taken, and you can clearly see it in my face. I was so grumpy. 2015. 2015, I think. So my two brothers, my dad, my mom, and me with purple hair, manifesting my future in the purple life. We've had this Pokemon blanket since I was like four. It's it's been the family that long. My mom is getting ready to pan fry the dumplings, right, mommy? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. She's putting them on the pan with a little bit of oil. She's adding water to the pan. Ooh. Mmm, yum. And then the lid just goes back on it to steam it. Wow, look at that. It looks so good. Oh. So we have boiled dumplings and pan fried. I personally love pan fried more, but boiled is yummy too. What sauce? What's in here? Garlic. Garlic. And vinegar. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Of course, we have our resident little beggar who is always here when I eat because he always thinks I'm going to give him food. Right, Hachi? <laughs> I'm bribing him with dumplings. Down, Hachi. Shiba, they only do half the trick. <laughs> but we still give them the treats. <laughs> you better, boy. Hachi oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> refuses to go on his walk unless I come too, so now I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I'm gonna trick him. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go, boy. Come on. Oh, now you're walking. Go. <laughs> Did you know that? You're so cute. Oh, no. He's noticed that I'm not going with him. Oh no, bye baby! They, he's still staring at me. I'm in my car and I'm ready to go. Oh my god. So, so sad. Having a dog is so hard. Hachi, I'm sorry. No, you can't, you can't, don't run in front of my car, buddy. Good night. Home, as you can tell by my BT21 babies, um, I decided that I am going to end every single one of these vlogs with something that I'm grateful for or a couple of things that I'm grateful for. Today I am grateful for having parents that make dumplings that are very very yummy and I'm grateful for all 10 of you that watch my video. <laughs> so it's super weird, I'm still getting comfortable and used to vlogging with a camera and vlogging in general. So if you stuck around and you watch this video, I really appreciate you. <laughs> I'm really grateful that I, you know, also sort of built up the courage to do this because I've been wanting to do it for a while. And that obviously came because people started supporting me on TikTok. So I'm grateful for all of my TikTok supporters and everybody here. I hope that you had a good day as well. And I hope that you think of a couple of things that you are grateful for and share them with me. <laughs> good night. Mwah.